In today's video, I'm going to give you guys one tip for every operator in Rainbow Six Siege. It's been a long time since I did this type of video and meta has changed. Some operators got reworked, buffed or nerfed. So here are some new tips. Before we start, 90% of you guys haven't subscribed. So if you enjoy watching and you improve with tips and tricks, make sure to do that. Starting from attackers, Sledge. So other than playing vertical, what you need to do more with Sledge is play horizontally. What I mean by that is instead of rotating between 3 or 4 rooms, just open the wall next to you. Pro players do this a lot so they don't waste time, put more pressure on defenders and also be safe. Remember, you can open up walls or floors 25 times with your hammer, so use that as much as you can. Catcher tip, even though he gets banned a lot, is that EMP range is huge. So sometimes you can throw them closed doors or on the roof to get ADSs, mute jammers, vomai discs and other gadgets. You don't have to throw them straight at the wall. Something I also don't see players do is EMPing the wall two times or they do it with bad timing. You have to double EMP the wall or hatch, so if Kate or Bandit wants to reboot their charge on the wall, you can stop them and they have no time to trick. Ash tip is just so simple. You have two explosive charges, so before you die, please use them for any utility. It can be a bulletproof, it can be a shield or goyo canister. Just use your gadget and then you can run around for kills. For Termite, place your charge on the wall as the EMP or Kali charge is going off. Some of you wait till the EMP goes off and gets the charges and then you place your Termite charge. But that will get tricked. So even if the wall is electrified, you have to lose like 10-15 damage but have your charge on the wall. This way you won't let Bandit or Kate trick you. Twitch drones are different now and you can zap cams and other utilities from any distance so make sure to do two things. First, go from unexpected place so you don't lose your drone and you don't have to go close. Stay as far as you can and you still be able to get rid of defenders utilities. Treat it to Coconut Bro for this example on Clubhouse which can shoot bandit mute charges from spawn. With Monty, always try to put pressure on defenders. What most of you do is just stay on the door and block it, that's it. You just keep looking at them. Move towards them, extend and unextend your shield so you can scare or distract them. Just don't put yourself in a spot where they can shoot you from 3 different angles. For glass, first of all use suppressor so they have absolutely no idea who's shooting and from where they are getting shot. Second tip which I feel like is more important, use your speed. Glass is now 3 speed and still glass players stay outside, hold an angle for 2 minutes. Pull out your SMG and run through the smoke and take the gunfights. Sometimes you can bring nades if your teammates are bringing smoke for you. The best tip for fuse is combo your gadget with three charges and there's no way you don't get a kill. Place your fuse charge on one side and before you detonate it, place a breach charge on the other side. Now when you fuse them from above, they will run to your breach charge hole and that's just a free kill. Blitz tip is rush, but find the best way to do it. You gotta see where the defenders are and what setup they have. Then use your smokes and go for it. Just make sure you don't use your flash too quick and don't run too much so they can't shoot your legs. IQ can be a fragger, but you have to make sure first you're doing your job, which is finding defenders utility and taking care of them. Especially wall camps. You gotta be the first one to enter and figure out if they have wall camps, pre-placed C4s or if there's a pulse or solid scanning. Then you can go around and shoot people. Blackbeard is the worst operator in the game right now. There is absolutely no use to play BB and the only thing you can do to make him 1% better is get active and move around and pray that the enemy misses some shots so you can survive. If you want my honest tip, don't play BB ever. Capitao is actually underrated now that you have secondary heartbeat gadget but my tip for him is use your fires first to cut off rotations and then smoke their line of sight. If you smoke first, they can move around or change position and make a play. Plus, make sure your smokes are on their side so even if they run through them, you can see something. Never smoke close to you because you'll be just putting yourself in a disadvantage. Hibano tip is different from others. I see people usually play Ace and Termite and that's completely fine. But for some vaults and maps, you have to play Hibana. Obviously, she's better for hatches but what you can do is make long angles which they can't go through it. You probably have seen defenders who run through the breach and push you so with Hibana, you can stop the aggressive play and put more pressure on them. Jackal is pretty simple, you scan footprints and you have the info, but you have to also know the color of footprints. Red means the defender has been here just seconds ago, but then it turns to yellow, then green and blue, which means he's long gone and he's probably back to sight. So you wanna scan new footsteps and don't waste your scans on old ones. Ink players keep their candelas in pocket maybe until they get close to sight or for executes, but you can easily use them to take control of the map. You necessarily don't have to flash anyone, as long as it makes defenders to either fall back or not push to get flashed, you are fine. You can use them room by room and take map control and maybe save last two for getting into sight and panting. With Zofia, make sure to switch between Concussion and Impact if you want to get rid of a shield or stun someone. With ADSs and Womai Magnets, you want to waste one Impact and one stun, so at the end you have one of each left. Yokaibi is one of the strongest attackers right now and her calls can be super useful for clearing roamers. First of all, make sure you're actually taking a lot of map control with one call. Then for the second call, you can either use it for executes on site or flank them from somewhere else and good thing is that defenders can watch camps, so you can easily flank and they have no info. 
Lion is one of my favorite operators and he is more useful now with EMP nades. My tip is drone the defenders first and once they get close to PQ, use your scanner which makes them stand still in a gunfight. And meanwhile you can get close and swing them. If you pay attention to gunshots around you and feel like you can do the same for your teammates, use your Lion scan. With Finca, just pay attention to your teammates. As soon as they get shot or damaged, use your heal so you can give them that extra juice. Do not boost them if they are full HP, it just doesn't make any sense. Maverick has lost his nades, but still, he is one of the good attackers. First of all, learn how to Maverick trick, which is making a reinforced wall soft. Second of all, don't make small holes, cause that way, defenders just place their crosser on that tiny hole where your head is about to be. Make a line without running out of fuel or stopping, and then pick. Nomad tip is also really simple, put your air jab higher. It's unbelievable how many times we could flank by just shooting the air jab because it was too low. Even sometimes I go prone on a doorway and shoot the air jab and get 2 kills after. So the range is huge, don't worry and place them as high as you can. With gridlock throw your tracks where it expands the most. Sometimes we just throw them without even noticing how bad the placement is, and how easily defenders can just rotate and flank us. So they should cover a lot of area that defenders have to go through them or shoot to make sound. Two tips for nuke, easy peasy. First of all don't run in front of the camps with your gadget. They kinda can see you on cams cause you leave an effect like vigil. Second of all just wait one second after you activate your gadget and then move around the camps. If you go too soon the same thing happens. Use Omaru with the pre-placed drone and do the rush from the most unexpected place ever. I usually play her on bank lockers attack which I can rappel into CEO where no one plays. And then I can kill roamers top 4 or go down to open area or maesters. Nobody expects an Omaru rush like that. Kali is also one of the useless operators in the game but she's actually better than Blackbeard. What you can do other than getting rid of bandit cage charges is get other type of utilities like shield or mute jammers, which is on the other side of the wall and all you have to do is shoot your charge on the reinforced wall next to the utility. Tip for Ayana is instead of running towards the defender, act like that's actually you and not your clone. Go close to the wall, make sound, quick peek to scare them off from that position or just to waste their bullets. Don't just run straight to them without getting more info or actually having an effect. I've given this tip for Ace and others have as well, don't make jump through holes. Throw your Ace charge a bit more down so you can go through them. Vaultable holes make sound, there can be a frost trap or tech kill hiding under it waiting for you to plant. Zero gadget actually tells you which surfaces you can see both sides, so whenever you are not sure just have a look at the green arrows. And the one with two sides means your zero cam goes through the surface. Also you can kill down players and type goodnight after. Flores tip is first use your normal drone. Gather info as much as you can. Where is the shield, bulletproof cam, Malusi banshees and then find the easiest and fastest way to destroy them with your retro drone. So don't make a mistake just going through all the map with your retro drone, trying to find the defender's utility. One tip for Osa is that you should set up your shield before you face defenders. Cause most of the times they shoot your leg or hand, sometimes they impact you super fast and sometimes they can shoot you from the side. So place your shield on an angle that they have to expose themselves and also place it as far as you can. Sense is one of the attackers I've been enjoying recently. You throw your wall and they all start shooting through it. That's my tip. Let them shoot and be worried as much as they want to. And then after that you can walk slowly and quietly behind the wall when they are reloading. Another tip if I want to give you, don't mess up the wall. Always draw a line between where you don't want to be seen and where you want to push. Green buff has made him so much better and now you also have a pistol shotgun, which you can throw your bees vertically, but make sure to draw them exactly on the rotations on site. That's where you usually can get someone cause eventually they have to rotate to either shoot you or deny the plant. As you see top white and kitchen rotate worked really well for me. Last attacker tip for Brava, hack important gadgets. For example if you hack a mute jammer then you can also jam ADSs close to it. Go for camps and bullet troops to have info, but either do that as soon as the round starts or in the middle of the round so it's kinda unexpected. Moving on to defenders, now that smoke has lost its shield you gotta play more aggressive with your smoke canisters. Think outside of the box, why not roam with smoke and waste the first 2 minutes of the round instead of keeping your canisters till the last second. You can also use your smokes to retake map area you have lost. Same goes for the tip I wanna give for mute. Use it more for roaming. Lock down important areas of the map with your jammers to deny info or stay safe from lion scans and dukaibi calls. You can get more out of him this way rather than placing your jammer on the wall to deny hard breaches. With castle, instead of castle inside you wanna close where you can't play in the first place. As you see without castle I can't play in the hall and contest VIP but now I'm protected from nighty hall and the window as well. So always think how can you get yourself more cover and also put more pressure on the enemy. My tip for pulse is sometimes play horizontally, not always scanning above or below can be useful. Sometimes you can scan around you to get info while you're roaming, so don't get lost with people above you. Duck tip is stay between your teammates and use your 1.5 for long angles like where I am playing on coastline. 
Be ready to heal your teammates as soon as they get damaged or at least refract them. I don't like the idea of playing selfish dog, but if you're holding one of the most important areas of the map, like garage and cop house, then it's fine. Rook is simple to play. Put down your armor and play long angles with that two-point scope. You just have to swing as much as you can and use that extra HP to your advantage. I have seen all top of Capcom tips and some of them you have heard from me, but if you use your traps on different spots, it would be obviously better, because your chance of getting a kill or damaging one of the attackers is higher. Most of the times attackers forget about the traps as the round goes on, so also having some of them on site is really good. The Chanka is super underrated. You can waste a lot of time because of how many fire grenades you have, so as soon as you get info where they are, cut off that rotation with your grenades and force them to rotate around like this sledge. One tip for Jaeger is please put your ADS different places. It's like Capcan tip I gave you. This way you keep your teammates safer unless again there is one important spot that has to be held and ADSs are needed. With Bandit always have one of your charges down and the other one in hand. As soon as EMP or heartbeat charge goes off you want to start tricking and always be careful with nades. Frost tip is place your frost traps all the way to the side of the window, so when attackers jump in and want to shoot it, they usually shoot in the middle, but actually the trap is on one of the sides, and they miss it. My tip for Valkyrie is you don't have to see the whole room with your cams. Sometimes you can place them somewhere that is hidden, but you can hear sound and give info based on audio. It also doesn't have to be on top of the room. It can be under the desk where they have to go prone to find it and usually attackers look up for wall caps. Then we have cap, one simple tip, go hide. If they know your cap, then they will be super scared or they all push together as a team, and there's no way you can get interrogation. I've seen players who play echo that just leave their cams on site for the last second that maybe attackers want to plant the bomb. What you should do instead is move it around, get info as much as you can on attackers, join your roamers or sometimes yourself and play aggressive. Obviously you know how Mira works, but did you know you could trick Ace or Termite? If you're late with Ace charge then it's even better, cause you have a hole on top to peek. Even if you actually trick the charge and then they punch your window to place another charge to open the wall, you can open your window and throw impact or C4 through it. Tip for Legion is you can place your goo mines on windows and barricade it. And cause of all the broken barricade, your goo mine is actually hidden. So attackers grappling on window will get into it and they have to get off repel to pull out the goo mine. Other than that, don't place your mines exactly in the middle of the door. You can hide them on the side and they will still get into it. With Ella, just play aggressive. Your mines are super powerful, so what's the point if they get into it and you're not close enough to shoot them? Vigil tip is try to waste as much as time you can but don't die. What you want to do next is get back into side and use your gadget still cause the range works vertically. So attackers droning might still think you're top floor, but in fact you're just on site. Master cams are actually pain in the ass, but if you use them on site. I also used to think they can be really good for offside, especially if you place them out of reach. But think about it, attackers use most of their utility until they get close to site, so probably they run out of ash charges and nades and that's when you master camps can be lethal. My tip for Alibi is use her prismas more on the angles you want to pick, so when you do, they shoot your prismas and you have the live info to push them. Obviously on Windows they work very well, but you might not be able to take the gunfight. People usually ban clash and not everyone play her, but if you do, play the shotgun, cause it can make rotate and holds. And play close to your team, cause she can be super annoying to deal with. Make sure there's always one of your teammates behind you to act on your info. My tip for Kate is learn tricking especially with how much Thatcher gets banned and how easy it is to trick the wall with new EMP grenades. All you have to do is either pick up the claw and put it down or throw it up and down cause the range of new EMPs are very small. So if attackers mess that up, it's over. To make your mozzie pest more effective, shoot down the floor open and throw your pest inside there. Then there's no way they can bypass your pest on the door. Also in prep phase shoot drones and then on action phase use your pest to deny more info and waste more drones. My warden tip is position yourself where the execute is happening. So many warden players are busy running around the map with 1.5 scope that they won't be able to kill a Monty planting in the smoke on site. So always be aware of attackers push, see which side they are taking, what ops they are playing based on gunshots, and be ready anytime to use your glasses. Goyo tip is that the fire of your canister actually spreads around like this one on half full of chalet which covers the default plan. But other than that, make sure wherever you place them, you can detonate them without putting yourself at risk. And they go for 20 seconds, if I'm not mistaken, so wait 20 seconds and then detonate another canister. Throw your Vomai Magnus far from other gadgets, like ADSs or mute jammers, so in case they catch a nade or explosive, they don't destroy other utilities. Also don't place them close to yourself so it doesn't force you to go back from your position. Make sure if you play Oryx, it's on the maps with lots of hatches, cause you can put a lot of pressure on attackers with your ability. Maps like Chalet, Coastline or Border are really good for Oryx, cause they provide lots of flank potential that the enemy team can handle it. You can go up, down, go back up again, and that's super time wasting. My tip for Malusi is place your Banshee somewhere that you have time to collect the info and contest that area. Some of you place your Banshee on top of the stairs where they can't kill you and it would be too late to contest it. So it has to be further back from side to hold them off and give you info. For Aruni, like Goyo, place your gadget close to yourself and somewhere that can activate them without putting yourself at risk. 
So if they are on site or somebody you play basically all the round, that would be perfect. The best tip for Thunderbird is to put your Kona stations all over the side so anyone can get healed. Or if you use your heals for roaming or holding down one area, if you give that up and want to go back to site, make sure to shoot the Kona so attackers don't get healed. Thorn can be lethal if you use her shells together and combo them with barbed wire. Or on default pants so at the last seconds when they are low on time, that trap pushes them off and you can swing them. Basically, you should use her more like Ella. You can place your traps on staircases just for info. My tip for Ozami is figure out where the attackers are pushing from and put a lot of pressure on them with your keybuzz. You can block any angle and force attackers to waste a lot of time and utility. She's designed to be annoying for attackers, so if you just sit on site and block some normal angles, then you're using her wrong. With Solis, you have to use your scanner constantly because you can see different ops like Lion, Nook, Blitz, or Ace and Termite using their gadget. You can see people on cam and that's free info, and also when you're roaming, look around for any type of flank camps or Nomad air jabs. And last defender Fenrir, use 3 or 2 of your F-Nots on site and 2 or 3 off site for roaming. Make sure you activate some of them to hold any type of rush or fast push, and just like Ella and Torn, be ready to play off your F-Nots. If you're not close to them, deactivate them so you don't lose one of your codes. And that's it for all the tips for every operator in a Busk Siege. Hope you find it useful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and check out other tips and trick videos much love everyone and i see you all in the next one